Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to animate UVs. We understand how we can use Panner and Rotator nodes step by step. So let's get started. I double click on Unreal Engine icon available at the desktop. You can see Unreal Project Browser window got open. Under Project Categories, I select Games. Under Project Templates, I select Blank. Project Type Blueprint Target Platform Desktop Quality Preset Maxim I am adding Starter Content Real Time Ray Tracing Disabled Project Location Desktop I am saving the project at the desktop with the name My Project I click on Create That creates a new project and opens the project in Unreal Editor You can see My Project is open in the Unreal Editor and also you can see we have Starter Content Let's create a new level I say File New Level I say Basic and say Create Let's save this level I say File Save current level as, I right click on the content folder, say new folder, name it as levels, hit enter and then I give the level name level 1 and then I say save. Right click on the content folder, say new folder, name it as materials, hit enter. I right click on the materials and say material, then I say m underscore demo, hit enter. You can see demo material is created, I double click to open it m underscore demo is open in the material editor once we open the material in the material editor we define four material properties they are material domain blend mode shading model material domain i select surface because we are going to apply this material to a 3d surface guys blend mode opaque because the surface will be completely opaque shading model default lit of course the surface is going to reflect the incoming light and also i make it two sided you can see Plane is one sided, let's make it two sided. So the material is applied on both the sides. Okay, fine. Now we start constructing the material. Here I hold down the T key and uh, click that creates a texture sample node. And then in the details panel, I select the texture, let's say grass. T ground grass diffuse map, connect the RGB pin to the base color. You can see the texture is applied. I hold down the T key and click. That creates one more texture sample and I search for grass and select the normal map, connect the RGB to normal. Now we have normal map also applied. We want to animate UVs. Okay, We can animate UVs to pan the textures. Pan means move the textures. I right click and search for panner. Panner is used to pan the textures or UVs or move the textures horizontally and vertically guys. I connect the output pin to UVs and then in the details panel we have speed X and speed Y property you can see that. If I say speed in X axis 0.1 hit enter you can see textures moving towards right. If I say 1 it increases the speed you can see textures moving towards right with more speed. If I say minus 1 hit enter, textures move towards left side. So we can decide the speed as well as the direction of movement. If I say speed y1 hit enter, now the textures move up. If I say minus 1, textures move downward guys. If I say 0, no texture movement. If I say here 0.1. We know the textures move towards right. If I say in the Y also 0.1. Now what happens? Textures move diagonally guys. You can see the textures are moving diagonally. So we can decide the direction of movement as well as the speed using the panel. We, we are animating the UVs. We are actually panning the textures guys. So that's how you can use the panner node. I am going to delete the panner node. Let's understand the rotator node. I right click here and search for rotator. Connect the output pin to UVs. Once I connect the output pin to UVs, you see already the textures are rotating from the center here. Here we have the speed property of the rotator node. If I set it to 1 and hit enter, now the textures rotate more faster. You can see that. If I set it to 0 0.25, hit enter. Now the textures are rotating slowly, you can see. We can change the center of rotation. Let me rotate it the other side. Now the X is towards us, you can see here. 
If I change the center x to 0, center y to 0, you can see the center is moved to top left corner, right? Top left corner. So this top left corner is x0, y0 it has. Here we have x1 and y1 guys. Bottom right corner indicates 1, 1. So if I say center x1, center y1, you can see the center is shifted to bottom right corner. So the textures are rotating around this point. So if I have to move the center to this place, definitely x should be 0 0.5 and y should be 0 0.5 guys. So you can rotate the textures guys. So that is how you can, you can use Panner and Rotator to animate UVs, create some nice animated textures guys. If I right click here and say P-A-N-N-E-R, Panner again, so we have a Panner, we know used to pan horizontally, vertically, I connect here, UVs. Now I change the speed here to 0 point, let's say 1 in the X axis and we have to rotate the other side to see exactly how it works. You can see now the x is forward. So speed 1 if I say the textures move towards right. Right. Let's set it to 0 0.25 something. Let's see how the textures move. That nice. Right. Now what I do, I am going to change the textures here. Okay. Select this texture sample node. First, I am going to import the textures, right click here, create new folder, name it as textures and to the textures folder, I bring the water diffuse map and water normal map, drag and drop. Next I go back here, first I select the water diffuse map, go to material, texture sample node is selected, I click on use selected asset from content browser, so that applies the texture. You can see diffuse map is changed here. Now I change the normal map also. I go here, select water normal map and then click on use selected asset from content browser. Normal map is also changed. Let's save it and come to level 1, go to materials. I apply this material to this 3D surface. You see, we are able to create a ocean material guys, so water material we are able to create. So if you want, you can increase the speed or change the direction of movement. Let's say if I come back to panner and say 0 0.25 here and if I say here 0 0.5 in this place and let's save it and see how it looks on the 3D surface. You can see it looks like ocean, right guys? So that is how you can create some nice animated uh, materials. Hope you guys have clearly understood how the panner is useful and the rotator nodes are useful guys. I suggest you people to try it yourself, experiment more. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about Unreal Engine. For more benefits and be update, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep gaming, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.